Well, 14,031 has been around for quite a while, but we now have a new version that issued a year or so ago, which impacts very much on the new standard that's been issued on 14,001 next year. We're having a revised 14,001 um, issued next year, which places far higher requirements on uh, users of the standard than they did in the past. And the leadership element is particularly important and uh, understanding your context far more than perhaps in the past. And we're now talking in business speak terms in the sense that um, managers and leaders, top management, are required to embrace environmental management requirements into their business processes. So in that context, people, businesses, need things like KPIs and talk in the world, world of key performance indicators and set them every year for delivering objectives and uh, I see this standard as uh, helping them set those objectives and those KPIs with the three key parts of the uh, standard which identify environmental condition indicators which we call ECIs, management performance indicators which we call MPIs and operational performance indicators which we call OPIs. The way the 14001 is written and was written in the past as well, it very much requires the organisation to identify objectives in, in the new standard as it did in the past and uh, targets for delivering performance in uh, environmental management terms. And this there is a strong link and it will be linkages within the standard to 14031 as a tool for identifying performance indicators. I think that those uh, companies that are more mature will find it, they need more mature ways of measuring and demonstrating performance. Uh, early on in the development and application of EMS 14001, um, organisations were able to just uh, do very simple things like waste management, whatever. Now we have to show greater leadership and commitment at a higher level in the organisation, uh, demonstration by management involving workforce, involving get the directing and supporting other senior management and managers and supervisors in their role with regards to environmental management. And as part of that, indicators that measure and demonstrate you are doing that is going to be a key requirement to demonstrate your commitment to 14,001 and getting your certificate in the future. I can see maybe that the trade association should pick this up and they can identify parameters or performance indicators that are significant in their particular field of operation and identify metrics that allow them to measure and compare and benchmark. And um, if you just do straightforward 14,001, that would be great. There's nothing wrong with that by any means, but a structured approach to improvement and measurement of continual improvement, you'll be able to do that a lot better with this because you can show incrementally the process and progress you've made over this year, next year, or over five years, whatever. So I see it as being a tool to demonstrate ongoing improvement and commitment that's probably not so easy if you just uh, have a base 14,001 system. The new standard on 14,001 makes a particular point that we have to manage in all these standards now uh, risks and opportunities. It's a key requirement and uh, we need to demonstrate if you adopt these 14,001 that you are managing your risks. Uh, so in this way one thing 14,031 could be used to actually identify and help you demonstrate that you've identified risk and you are managing them and improving your, con your control of risks. So it could be used and adapted in that way as well. Um, and I suspect the regulator may have interest in that aspect of it as well from that point of view. Well, I, and we know for a fact because they have been very actively involved in writing this with us, particularly in the UK. The UK regulator is very committed and has been all the way along in the uh, writing of this standard and see the opportunities for businesses to use this in, in a very useful way and we have produced an article that uh, 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 showing 
the links between the standard, how it's applied in Barclays Bank and also how the regulator sees it can be used in, in industry as a whole or any particular sector. So the regulator is very committed to this and sees great application and that's why I would like to emphasise yet again the fact that trade associations could use this in a very, very constructive way to enable benchmarks or consistent ways of measuring performance. Certain sectors picked up on environmental performance and metrics, I think, in the early days of 8750 and 14001 many years ago, and trade associations identified key performance factors or indicators and I believe that there is the opportunity for this to happen again and I think we, we could see uh, uh, organisations within sectors working together to identify and establish how they show a common way of performance evaluation so that there is a level playing field and people can assess true performance and what really matters in their industry sector.